If your Chromebook says network not available, here are 10 things you can do to troubleshoot that and try to get back online. Number one, double check your router and connection on other devices. So see if your phones connect. If that's all working and your router is working, then you can rule that out. Number two, try an ethernet cable instead like this one. Not a lot of people know that, but you can actually plug an ethernet cable into some Chromebooks and connect to the internet that way. It's like kind of an old school thing to do, but people still do it. It's possible. Number three, reboot your router. Sometimes it's just the router. You know, if your other devices aren't connecting, you're still having issues, just reboot the thing. Give it a try. It takes a few minutes, easy to do. There'll be some blinking lights, you'll figure it out. Usually there's instructions on the bottom of the router. Number four, make sure that your Chromebook is connected to the right Wi-Fi band. So it could be 2.4, 5, or 6G. And if you're too far away from the router, that will make a difference. Some Chromebooks only connect to 2.4 and 5G. So if you see that it's connected to 6, maybe you're far away from the router, that could be your, your issue right there. You might actually want to go into a different room of your house and see if that makes a difference. Or just manually switch the connection to a 2.4 or a 5G. Number five is to reboot your Chromebook. You may have already tried rebooting the router. If that hasn't worked, and next try rebooting the Chromebook itself. Number six is to try logging in in guest mode. There may be an issue with your actual login itself, so go into guest mode, play around with it, reboot, things like that. See if logging into guest mode helps. Number seven is to scale back the security on your Wi-Fi router itself. So if you're using WPA3, you may want to scale, scale it back to WPA2. You'll have to check your specific server for instructions on how to do that. But that, that may allow you to get connected to your network on your Chromebook too. Number eight is to reset your Chromebook. This is a next to last piece of advice, not the ultimate last, but it will delete any files that you've saved on the Chromebook itself. So if you reset it, it'll be like you're getting a new Chromebook with nothing personalized or saved on the Chromebook itself. Number nine is to recover your Chromebook, which is actually more extreme than a reset. Um, so this one actually takes the Chrome operating system off of your machine. You'll have to reinstall it later using a USB cable or an SD card from another computer. So this is even more extreme if the reset option doesn't work. You can try to recover the Chromebook. Number 10 is to repurpose your Chromebook. So in this example, I have one of those little fingerboards. I can do tricks on there. It's a nice flat surface. You could also serve drinks to guests in your home, whatever you want to do. But there's lots of things you could do with a big hard plastic block like that. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you'll find a way to get your Chromebook back online. If you can't, you can finally repurpose it. If nothing else works, use it as a paperweight, you know, doorstop, you name it. Maybe even a Frisbee, although this one's kind of heavy. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you again soon.